what kind of monthly expenses did you have at first? Because I've said on my channel in the past that if I absolutely had to, if it was a matter of like life or death, I could live in Mexico on $300 a month total, including all expenses, assuming there wasn't some major medical bill that came up. But with my like everyday life, I think I could do it on $300. Well, maybe with a little bit of inflation now, that's 350 or something. But what kind of monthly expenses did you have back in the beginning when you moved here? Yeah, I mean, about, I mean, it wasn't 300, you know, um, but it was, it, it, by the way, you're right, you could make it on that, like, but it's not going to be easy living, all right? But you could definitely do mm -hmm. it. And I know people that, that do. Um, but no, I think my expenses were more like around the 450 to 500 dollar range. And again, I could just kind of go over real quick. Again, 150 for rent, 175, you know, give or take. Um, another 100 or 150, depending, you know, again, on the power bill. Um, so that's like, you know, almost 300, 275. Did, you, did you have air conditioning in that first place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it but you couldn't okay. really use it, right? Well, because it was only in the bedroom. So I only used it to sleep. And then the rest okay. of the time I was sweating to the oldies, you know. So, <laughs> but, uh, but let's just say 275 right there. Um, then Ubers, you know, maybe you do have to take some Ubers, believe it or not, um, because I was actually where I was living. Um, I was living closer to like the touristy area. So I didn't have like, um, you know, like the fruit vendor, the the meat guy, you know, all the things that we kind of take for granted living in the regular neighborhood now. Um, but back then I was more closer to the touristy area. So, you know, I had to take the Uber to the supermarket or whatever. But remember, all those things kind of add up, even though it was a few bucks here and yeah. there. Um, libations. You know what I mean, we all have our libations. You know what I mean by that, right? You know, whether you like to drink <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> you, know, so, you know, things. So, you know, basically it kind of, you know, food was the major, you know, component. Sure. Um, let's just say that it's $5 a day, you know, five times 30 is like 150 bucks. bucks. Yeah. yeah. So think about it, you know, 150 in rent, 150 in food, you know, that's um, 300 right there. And then, you know, the light bill was another hundred and then whatever libations, Uber, that would kind of like uh, sum it up. And sometimes I would keep the budget under five bucks, you know, for food a day. Mm -hmm. That's I, from from living out of here in Mexico for years now. That That's what I have realized. You know, I think food is basically the biggest budget buster for anyone that's trying to keep it, you know, under budget.